please like and subscribe. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. Scorpio, this is a general spirit check-in, not a one-to-one -one spirit check-in. So please take what you need and leave the rest behind. Creator, please bless this reading for Scorpio. Please bring in the knowledge and the wisdom of the Most High for Scorpio and for whoever else comes into the reading. Thank you. deck is the queen of cups upright that is supporting the entire reading so very supportive loving energy from you or from somebody else from the creator from we'll find out recent past there was a lack of courage towards something in the past some sort of lack of courage somebody was had a lack of courage or even jealousy and I'm feeling it's toward you and uh, your new covenant with you know maybe that's a little bit dramatic but you're you have a new sense of clarity and a new yeah like a new like you re, re, uh, re, how does that, what does that word say? When you reinvent yourself, you reinvented yourself. You stepped upon the path of your heart. Maybe this was you in the past. Maybe you were not yet ready to step on the path of the heart until you, until you were. So this could somebody who's being jealous of you, but this is also, also you that was not yet ready to step into the a more authentic version of yourself, stepping onto you the path of the heart and the path of service. And in that, you rewrite yourself. You come into a sense of clarity about yourself, authenticity, um, glory, you know, satisfaction. Beautiful, beautiful. With this, you know, you have Yeah, there was a lot of hostility between you and somebody else or maybe someone else had hostility toward you. I'm feeling it's more that way. Because here you are just minding your own business. That's what I'm feeling here. Fulfilling your life, fulfilling your dreams, listening to yourself. And it brings you into this whole energy here. It brings you into a King of Cups energy. Very grounded in your emotions. Very solid. Yeah, compassionate. Very balanced. But there's somebody around you who's not balanced. This is also corresponds with a person who was very jealous of what that was watching you in your past. Turning his their back from you, on you. And there's a lot of hostility towards you they have. And they're not yet ready to tell the truth about their relationship relative to you they're blaming you for whatever this is i don't know what's going on here we'll find out when we clarify but they're blaming you for something 
that's going on in their their life. They're not yet ready to pay share on the truth and say, you know what, it's not Scorpio's fault at all. It's actually my fault. I'm the one that said yes when I should have said no, or I should have should have said no when I should have said yes, or you know, like I said no when I should have said yes. Like either way, whatever it is, this person is not yet ready to tell the truth. And because of that, there is no more uh, commitment. There is the turning away. Yeah, no more commitment. Um, yeah, just... Hmm. Yeah, no more commitment. But with this... So you're on the path of the heart. Somebody else has hostility and is not ready to, to meet you halfway. They're still blaming you, not ready to take responsibility for themselves. There's no commitment in, in the relationship between the two of you. But there's a sense of purpose about this. And I'm feeling that you're getting a sense of it. They're getting a sense of what this is all about. You can see this from a higher perspective. And you can see that there's a sense of purpose here. You can see through this is illusion, but it's also purpose. And I mean, everything is illusion. That's why the Buddha said this world has no power over you. But the Buddha did not mean so you can stand in front of a truck. That's not what that means. This means that this world, uh, no, no, sorry, when the Buddha would say this world is an illusion, it doesn't have power over you. That doesn't mean to say to go and stand in front of a moving truck. But what this means is the world should not have, like you should not be losing your soul to the world, to, to a relationship, to your fear, to, you know, to this or to that. And, you know, for a season, we have to. For a season, we do, because that's how we learn, to pull our, pull our power back and understand what's true from what's, from what's not true or no longer true or from what does serve us from what doesn't serve us, etc. So, yeah, that's what this is, is you climbing into the, the understanding, the illusions of how this is serving you, the purpose of this. There's a, this is bringing you or somebody into their sense of purpose. And I'm feeling that there will be a reconciliation or not just a reconciliation, but there will finally be um, a clarity, kindness, maybe even a new alliance, but a new hope. So once, and this is between the, the both of you. This is the relationship they are both tied up to. So this is your energy, this is their energy, and this is the relationship. This is the past, this is the present, this is the future. And so what's happening here is your contract with yourself, you're doing awesome, you're in the seat of your soul, you, the, your person is not yet there, they're still pissed off, they're blaming you, da -da 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 -da. but they will eventually come into, the both of you will come into making room for each other's differences. It's not about putting aside your differences, that's what, you, that's what got you here to start with. That's what got you here is seeing how different the both of you were and not willing to somebody not willing to make room for the other person's differences or maybe for even for their own differences you know and that's where it starts it's not about looking at how we're alike it's about making room for how we're different and appreciating that seeing it instead of being scared of it and discriminating it and well that's weird and blah, blah, blah. you know it's about going that's cool and the world is doing that you know, I, I just love the young people because they're born with a whole new spirit, a whole new sense of soul and a whole new sense of awareness than the generation before them. 
So it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to see. So absolutely, you guys will be coming into some kind of peace, kindness, charity toward each other. I'm feeling that, okay, we're going to clarify. Let's clarify, creator. What is the, what is the, pay, uh, the Knight of Pentacles? What is the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, look at that. The Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands upright. So, yeah, recovery. So you, okay, interesting. You or somebody else has really become standing in your power. You're standing in your power. is the knight of pentacles in reverse creator for scorpio what is the knight of pentacles in reverse for scorpio whoops the knight of pentacles in reverse for scorpio of oh my goodness okay so yeah somebody was moody and disappointed okay well we just said there what was on the split there it was anyway whatever it was uh, I can't remember, remember what was on the split again but it was good it was very good that you were in your power. You were standing in your power. So yes, you standing in your power, the Knight of Cups, somebody was moody and disappointed. The fact that you're now standing in your power. So that means you're not giving them your power because you're standing in your power. And the magnetics of the relationship has shifted because of that. And they can feel it and they're pissed off about it. They're also vexed about it. You're not vexed about it. You're doing pretty good. And the Four of Pentacles, very frugal, very, um, you're being very cautious and careful with your energy. But in the past, when this was you, you were moody and disappointed with life because you were not yet aligned with you and you had a sense of vexation about your own lack of, um, you didn't feel satisfied. You didn't feel, feel uh, satisfied. But now that you have turned and come onto your path, these cards are also representing the person that, that's watching you. And they're, they're watching you, were watching you in the past and watched you transition from being moody and disappointed and, and out of alignment with your heart, being vexed with life and feeling in a sense of trying to gain a sense of security, even financial security, but being frugal and careful with, with your money, which meaning also being frugal and careful with your energetic financing. So I see that as a sense of uh, low self-esteem and that makes sense here because if you're out of alignment with your heart, you're obviously not in a place where you're aligned with your self-esteem. You're still fighting for that. You know, some people are scared of it. They're scared to love themselves because they're scared to lose themselves. So yeah, and then the, vex, the vexation about it. Absolutely. Okay. What is the Knight of Cups creator? What is the Knight of Cups? So what has Scorpio done now to come onto their path? And what's a service? What has Scorpio done? What 
what is the Knight of Cups creator? What is the Knight of Cups? Mm. Oh, wow. You turned your back on the conflicts. You just weren't interested anymore. And because of that, you entered a cycle. You ended it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because you were coming into you. You were coming home to your own innocence, to what is true for you inside of your heart. This is also Leo energy. What is the King of Cups creator? What is the King of Cups? What is the King of Cups? So there was like a lack of strength here, like a lot, like a ineffectiveness. There was a sense of ineffectiveness. And yeah, that's what I'm feeling. When you were out of alignment and didn't have courage to step onto your heart, there was a sort of ineffectiveness to you because you weren't aligned. You weren't fighting for yourself. You were just trying to fight it to... I'm feeling like survive in the world, even though you weren't, you had a sense of, of, uh, vexation, like with, 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 with life. You went through a lot of treachery, like a lot of, um, a lot of obstacles. And you came through, you worked through a lot of your own hostility to get to where you are now. To get to where you are now. But whoever is, is still in the Knight of Pentacles energy and who is still not in alignment with their hearts and who is still vexed and, and holding their hand very close to their chest and very um, doesn't have a lot of energetic financing or self-esteem, they have a lot of hostility watching you heal. I'm seeing like crabs in a bucket and I'm seeing a crab trying to bring the other crab down, but you're out of their reach. You're out of this person's reach. New deck. Man, like, okay, like, let's just get a perspective here. You know, no, no more commitment. The relationship fell apart. Why? Because somebody was happy to see you out of alignment with you. The relationship only existed and could only stand when you were out of alignment to you. Then everybody else was like comfortable and happy and secure. But as soon as you came into alignment with you, it fucked them up. What the hell is that about? Let's put that into perspective here. Because, you know, now that you got yourself aligned into your heart, it allowed you coming into your joy and into your own innocence again, into your youth, into reviving something within you that you had to let go of in order to survive all this bullshit. And now that you've come back to it, it allowed you to get through this. And they're pissed off. They're hostile. What the hell does that say? <laughs> you know, like, what? That makes me... Ugh. That's an awful energy. That's, oh, this is hitting home for somebody because I'm getting vertigo. Okay.
No. Yeah. yeah? Okay. And actually this, I'm being told, to, goes up here. Because I didn't really, I didn't ask to really clarify anything yet. So I'm being told this comes up here. So absolutely, that makes perfect sense. It wasn't really making sense down here as soon as I saw it. Nope, it goes up there. I'm like, okay. And these up there also. Okay. So there was, okay, there's, okay. Oh my gosh. So what you were no longer committing, the relationship fell apart. There was so much competition, competition. And instead of, and I'm getting this is with family and with for friends, like people that you're supposed, that are supposed to, to love you, but instead they compete with you. There's conflict. They're threatened of where you are. And your, your, your lack of conflict now is toward this conflict. <clears throat> Sorry, your lack of commitment. You don't want to fight anymore. You've had enough. You've had enough. So there's all this fighting going on. You're also not committing to... working hard without results anxiety you know this 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 the relationship fell apart there was no more commitment between you and this person because of the conflict because of the anxiety and when it fell apart you committed to you somebody turned away from the relationship and is walking away, committing to themselves. They're proving themselves. They're not, you're not who they thought you were. You're not who they thought you were. And as you move forward more into yourself, you're discovering more about yourself. You're becoming more integrated with this energy and becoming one hell of an established force. Okay. So that was the breakdown of the relationship and that's what released you. Okay. And I'm seeing the binary stars around the black hole. It's exactly what I'm seeing is two binary stars and the gravity of both stars as they get closer to the event horizon of the black hole. The gravity of one star will fling the other star in out of the orbit and you know, Newton's third law of, of motion, what you push against will push back with, e with, with equal force. So with that star that flung the other star out with equal force, the other star flung it into the other star's gravity flung it into the black hole. And this is what I'm seeing here is you were released. You released yourself. The relationship the relationship fell apart and you released yourself. You were released from the gravity and the gravity is now having an impact. And that's what I mean. The gravity of the relationship has changed and they can feel it. Can you hear what I'm saying? Like with energetics and power dynamics. Am I taking that card? Yes. Okay. What am I clarifying? First of all, okay. The seven of, of, of the cups. Okay, so the Magician energy in reverse and the Five of Cups. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's get some more cards here. Okay, as I said, the work you have done 
in your own aligning with you and the work you have done to get out of a toxic relationship and start telling yourself the truth. This is huge. This is huge. This is not common. That's what I mean. Like, you know, my, my channel is not mainstream. So when I get readings like this, I know I'm speaking to a few, uh, like a, a small group in the world, because this is very rare for people to take responsibility, to get out of something and to take responsibility for it. Most time, you know, there's a whole blame game and, and just a bunch of bullshit and, and, and not willing to people both people not willing to take responsibility for themselves but you are and that's what I mean so with you doing the work that you have done to end a cycle and someone's pissed off about it and there's you understand the purpose that this served in your life how this made you strong um, you understand how you were in on your own disempowerment and you had to let go of a former way of manifesting. You had to turn your back on your own fear of change and carry the burden of your own responsibility of your life, taking responsibility for you, for your life, for yourself, for your feelings. It might have even felt cruel at first like kind of a cruelty, like a self-betrayal, like because you're actually taking responsibility. I remember feeling that way when I first started taking responsibility for myself and the way I felt like it was like, oh, how could you do that to me, Joanna? You know, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like I had the right to be an it, like a total innocent victim. You know what I'm saying? And that was like actually putting myself into prison, an inner prison, the eight of swords, you know, that's not fun. It doesn't, ex you know, anyway. So that's, that's what I mean. That's normal to feel burdened and like it's almost a form of cruelty, but it's not, it's not. That's, that's like a, you getting through your, your own ego. That's, that's us getting through our own egos in order to connect with what's true. And that's beautiful. And you know, it kind of, in a strange way, kind of is because it's like, Gabor Mati says with like addiction, like a person that's like a, was hooked on heroin or whatever drug they were hooked on. And when they got clean or when they were, in, you know, trying to get clean, you know, trying to escape this big, bad addiction and this awful thing. And Gabor Mati would say, no, it's not a big, bad thing. It's not awful. It's something that kept you alive. It's something that served you, that kept you alive and helped you cope with everyday life in the midst of so much pain. Do you see what I mean? And that's, that's what I mean. And that's why it, whatever that coping mechanism was, yeah, it might feel a little bit betrayed. As you pull your energy away from it and begin to take responsibility for you, you don't need that anymore. You need you. You need you. Your soul needs you. You need your soul. And that's what I feel this is. Am I taking that? Yes. Okay. <sighs> And we'll clarify the Six of Swords in reverse. The Hanged Man. It's like some sort of... Um, cups sideways the 
the hanged man, the king of cups sideways. So there's some kind of sacrifice that you or this person knows they have to make, you or somebody else. I, you know, I could be picking up on your energy, Scorpio, or in someone else's energy. So if it doesn't feel like I'm speaking about you when I say, oh, like you, 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 then switch the energies around, okay? So you or somebody else knows you have to make a sacrifice, Maybe you're, maybe they're someone's addiction to being a victim. They don't want to take responsibility. They're trapped in this, you know, in this mindset or whatever it is. Um, yeah. And they're wanting to follow in your steps to, to come into their King of Cups energy. They're wanting to, but they have to face into their own and, and they want to overcome their own devil. This is what they know this, the sacrifice is about. If they want to come into the King of Cups energy that's lying on its side, that is not yet explored yet and um, accomplished and attained, it's because they know they have to go up against a devil energy and release themselves from bondage, maybe have a divorce with the somebody. They have to develop their capacity to tell the truth the devil's like the king and their and the queen of swords is life, the coping mechanism. And now that the devil is dead and the king is now dead because she's released herself from her own addictions and from bondage, maybe she divorced the king, you know, who knows? But she's had to become her own king. Actually, the queen of swords is a is a, is a widow. So yeah, it makes sense that uh, the king died because that would have been her masculine outward action of coping so maybe you know some sort of an some sort of an addiction some sort of bondage some sort of whatever and she let go of it and became clean and sober or straightened out her life and became her own husband as well as the queen of swords this is what is required for her to leave the land of the dead uh, and face into her pain and develop the Queen of Wands energy. And understand the mistakes that they've made. Understand the mistakes that they've made and understand their perfections and understand its requirement. Mistakes are not faults like Robert Ohado says one of my favorite ast astrologers or astrologists astrologers he says awesome and flawed is flossom <laughs> and I just love that so everybody's totally flossom and that's it we all are and it's required and with that when your person does their work that's or whoever this is when this person does their work because you're already there you're already home whoever this is is waiting for your person to come home to themselves then there will be peace there will be acceptance the queen of cups energy supporting the entire reading the four of cups knowing that there is a disconnection and apathy this 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 is over this is over you know, the eight of, eight of swords going with this, not willing to do their work, but there will be a transition. There will be, and that is corresponds now to this. And the transition will bring you both. Ooh, look at that. Bring you both into beautiful nine, of, nine of cups energy and the end of a cycle for the both of you beautiful 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 energy all right you guys i'm going to leave that here uh, thank you so much for tuning into this reading scorpio and we will see you on the next reading